One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. <clears throat> okay, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, turns out I actually missed a, kind of a crucial item for a side quest, actually. So I have to go back to that dark area where the behemoths are. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick detour. Well, not really a detour, just a flat out backtrack. We'll never be able to go back to our ordinary lives. That's how they include the crystal theme. It's not terribly far. Damn, I can't get the jump on these guys. Oh, thank God for his lips. might only be accessible by Chocobo. Oh, God! I never did try the commando-only strategy, so we'll see how well this works. I hope there's a place I can buy Libra scopes. Nope, that did not work out that well. If I got the jump on them, I'm sure it would work fine. Uh, let's see. No, this way. I like the benefits, but working on calls. Can't see Jack. There it is. Try option, not good. Uh, you provoke him already, please. Must say, having the right paradigms makes all the difference. We're off. Oh, jeez. It's actually a good thing I grinded for Phoenix Downs. Oh, 
God, it took out the <laughs> behemoth. Ugh, I could get a lot better at these. Oh man, if I get a five star, I wonder what cool items it'll drop. Eight mana bolts. And more importantly, Tablet of Padra. Apparently important. There we go. That's much better. Broke him already, please. Poison would be a lifesaver right about now. There we go. Wow, too strong. Oh, the monster's always down. You're okay now. Stars? Please tell me I'm at least improving. Yay, I am. Alright, let's get the light. Okay. I have some CP. to make my healer a bit better if possible. Oh. I'll use mana silvers. There we go. Oh, now he needs two. <laughs> Alright. Uh, back this way. Let's fight one more behemoth. I think I can do better. Specifically, if we do this change. All right, much faster. These saboteurs are actually like commandos in that they slow at the rate that the chain gauge falls. So while Noel as a Ravager increases um, the stagger gauge, I'm going to keep trying to get status effects on it. There we go. This is actually the safest. Oh, in peril, that would help too. There we go. Let's take right, now let's go all out. Oh, 
Oh, that's how you do it. Five stars, bitches. I knew I could do it. Just really takes the proper setup. I don't care if things are bad. I'd rather be on the Ah. All right, now we'll do it again. Poison helps a lot. There we go. Thanks to protect, that thing wouldn't kill me. Oh yeah. I got a system going. <laughs> but we're good. We can now return to... It's night all the time. This, I can't yeah. Do Back to the store. Where the hell am I going? There we go. There seems to be a rift between the ones who stay on the and the ones who stay on the are still following me. <laughs> it's okay. I got the strategy down. Really helps that I got the saboteur bonus. Because I remember before it was taking forever for these to stick. God, this pulse work knight is fantastic. One more attack and switch! So much damage. Yeah! Of course it helps having a behemoth on your side too now, doesn't it? Power chip! Now we're talking. This way. God, it's... Easy to lose my bearings. All right, let's set Cerberus. That's my main. All right, this should <laughs> this should go by very quickly. Conservatives who still believe in the ways of Cocoon must be unhappy with the academy. 
All right, those shop encounters are very frequent. That's what you need. I also want to level you up anyway. All right, let's story, guys. Found a god. It's basically what they are. Carbuncle figurine. Yay. Never was crazy about Carbuncle. Oh man, I almost did a giant Mario head stomp. Somehow I always seem to. I've been waiting so long to meet you. You two are the reason I've continued my research for as long as I have. Oh no, I'm not going to make it! They put the future in our hands. We're in a position to build a society based on human technology. No longer subject to the whim of the foul sea. That's the gift we've been given. How long has it been? Five years? Ten minutes? You two haven't changed at all. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> and here we are, meeting in ruins again. Ruins are places where memories gather like dust. So many layers of time. Probably the easiest place for a paradox to occur. I wish I'd been at the Brescia ruins back then. Guests of yours, Director? Watch your step in there. Thank you. Isn't the Academy a research institute? Why do you need so many soldiers? Without the Foul Sea around, we have to be able to protect ourselves. And that means guns. The time distortions spawn hostile creatures. Until we can resolve the paradox, we need military force to repel threats. These armed patrols are essential for our safety. Oh my god, this is where you fight the last mark. Records of their 13. Lifestyles. I oh, heard a I see that. What's going on? I wonder if we can make the gates accessible to everyone. Work your stuff, oh, Mog. Yay, it's all green. You know, I wish you'd said where and when you were from the last time we met. It's hard to believe it's really been ten years. So much time has passed. No oh, right. Talk about the ruins, talk about Saz, talk about lightning, talk about snow. I don't want to talk about any of those things. Well, I kind of want to talk about Saz. Probably doesn't matter, but... Uh, 
Ugh, where is that page? This guide is huge. Doesn't, doesn't even matter. Oh, do you still think my sister is trapped inside that crystal pillar? I always had doubts, and it wasn't just me. Saz had them as well. Really? Saz too? Yes. He couldn't believe that lightning would just up and leave Sarah like that. After all, she was the one who said we shouldn't face things alone, that we should stick together. Glad to see you're doing well, Sarah. Oh, okay. So, Hope, have you heard anything from Snow? Nothing, I'm sorry to say. Not a single word. Not since he left on his mission. No sign of him for ten whole years? Sounds like we're not the only ones traveling through time. You might be right. Considering Snow's uncanny ability to find trouble, He's almost certainly aware of these temporal aberrations. I wonder how the... I wonder how Saz and little Dodge are doing. We've been out of touch. Saz took Dodge to live on Grand Pulse, and he was flying airships the last I heard. Then suddenly they both disappeared. I... I searched everywhere but never found them. Look at us. All gone our separate ways. <sighs> yes. And I can't tell you how much it means to have you here now. Saz and Snow may have set off on different paths, but I've started to think that, in the end, we're all headed towards the same goal. It's been ten years. I guess I picked the la oh, oh. the right this one for is last. This some kind of ancient city, mm. right? The city of Padra, or so we believe. It was the center of a great kingdom built by a nation known as the Farseers. The Farseers? Mm. You're telling me there used to be enough of them to build this entire town? Mm. According to our research, we believe they constituted an entire nation, huh. a polity that was ruled by a Cirrus. Can you see me now, standing here in this place? So this nation, Padra, their leader was a Cirrus, right? Yes. The Cirrus would read the fates, see the future, and guide her country. <laughs> you. Any records of their Oh man, look how hope runs. That is so goofy. It's like Lanky Kong. This place is off limits to the public. Even authorized personnel need a permit for access. Here. <laughs> Thanks. You've traveled through time. I suppose it's not surprising you know about these things. The power to rule was passed down from one Cirrus to the next. She was always called Yule. If they could read time, why did they die out? Surely they could see the danger coming and do something to avoid it. No, they were destroyed because they could see the future. Why? The Cirrus Yule foresaw the future destruction of this city. Some citizens wanted to try to avert the disaster. Others felt that they should simply abandon their homes and run. A few fell into despair and took their own lives. The divided populace clashed. The nation was torn apart by civil war. Sound familiar? Being able to see the future is awfully dangerous. It can mess with people's heads. Tell me about it. The nation fell apart, and the survivors fled into the wildlands, avoiding contact with others. Huh. 
So you know the story. Oh! Come on, Director Hope! I want to show them! It's okay to show them, isn't it? This way. Here. This is what lies at the heart of our paradox. The Oracle Drive. We've been giving it careful study. But how did you... Wait. You know of these devices? Oh, uh, well, yeah. I've, uh, I've heard of them. In books and stuff. The Oracle Shady. Drive appears to be some kind of recording apparatus from ancient times. We've excavated a number of the devices. However, the recordings depict things that cannot be possible. Perhaps you should see for yourselves. This is how it works. You know, from books. And stuff. Carbon dating methods to determine age. The device and the recording stored within are several centuries old. But it shows lightning. Ah, uh, that's Someone a bit in the confusing. past recorded this vision of the future. Perhaps it was the Cirrus Yule herself. What we're concerned about, however, is this. You'll have to excuse the image quality. I think so. We need to conduct further analysis to be certain. <sighs> is it broken? No. We've tested both device and data, and everything is nominal. Yet, when we try to view the recording, we get this. Perhaps it's not the recording that's broken. It's the immediate space-time in which we are located. Mm -hmm. You mean it could be the paradox? Because the surrounding space-time is twisted, that might be directly affecting the device. So, if the paradox is eliminated, space-time will return to normal. Then we could see the prophecy and find out where my sister uh -huh. is. Yes, I believe so. Right. Here. An artifact! <laughs> this object serves as a key, is that right? We try to make it work ourselves, but with no success. Yeah, we can use that to travel across time. Then you may have it. I think it'll be far more useful to you than us. Here. As a scientist, I have no yearn to study it any further. During the years that passed as we traveled outside time and space, Hope had devoted himself to his research, trying to unlock the mystery of the paradox. If the gates are the cause of the puzzle, they might also be the key to unlocking it. But I wonder, am I getting closer? Will I find lightning in the end? Time to find that gate. It was in the ruins. <laughs> Back in the Brescia ruins. I'm collecting parts for my computer terminal. If you've got any, I'd be happy to buy them from you. What I really want to get my hands on is the battery used for one of the older models, like the kind they used on Cocoon. 
It wasn't a very popular model, so the parts are scarce. I saw it in a store window once. I got excited and ran in, but it turned out that the item had already been bought. <sighs> Enjoys collecting retro electronic battery model from 10 years ago that he'd love to get his hands on. Though no longer exists in this time, such an item might have been sucked into a space-time vortex, and if so, Mog would be just the Moogle to find it. Really? You'll help me try and find the battery? It might be an impossible task. I already called every store in the book with no luck. But if you say you can get your hands on it, I'll believe you. Thanks for doing this. You want to know what I'll be using it for? I'm a collector. No. I want to get my hands on all the retro electronics I can. So you won't be using it at all. You're just going to have it. Let's speed this up and just check the good old guide and see where it says it is. Doesn't appear to be in this time. Yeah, it's in some other place, and I'm not going to waste time looking for it. So Let's just return to the gate. Transfer. If things aren't recorded, this incident could soon be forgotten. for strategy, just brute force it. There are people who actually oh, this place like opened up. Impulse. There's a considerable time-space distortion up ahead. Okay, let's see what it is. talking about maybe uh. yeah what <laughs> what there's something on your mind yeah well um sure but it's just personal stuff Bothered by the Moogle? It's probably the correct response. Yep. Anything Moogle related. It's the Moogle. He really bothers <laughs> you, huh? Is it that obvious? I look at his strange little face and I can't help but worry. I mean, what now? His face isn't strange. It's totally cute. Totally cute. 
I'd go for a unique. Koopa? Huh? You shouldn't make fun of me, Koopa. <laughs> Just feels like talking when it feels like it. Like talking when it feels like it. Poo -poo? Something had been bothering Noel. And it had been ever since we heard the story about the Padre Cirrus Yule. But, of course, he wasn't the only one who was troubled. Was it really lightning I saw in the flickering images of the prophecy? The only way to find out is to go through this portal and solve the paradox. Oh, I'll never tell. Crud. <laughs> oh, well, you can always do those parts over. Erba. Time and memory, frozen. Back here, I can activate the other gate. Ugh. This crux is gonna get confusing. Apparently, this will continue the story, but the Erba is actually, I guess it's relative, I guess it's related. Although if I have a wild artifact, I can go to an optional area. Which I might feel like doing. Let's check the map. I guess it's that gate in there. Do I have the fragment I need? I do not. So let's just access the other story one. And then I... Ugh, I'll go where I feel like. Gosh, don't judge me. Oh wait, I need to go underground. This is probably a waste of my time. Man, look at them all. Oh, these are different enemies. In fact, surprisingly, I almost died. There was a lot of them. That's a good experience. Might be able to replace my gremlin. Found the capsule in the ruin. Ah, my good old friend, the Pulse Knight. You are obsolete.
confirms that all conditions were working normally. That part's optional. No this part's mandatory. This town felt. You guys are unbelievable. You charm monsters and defeat Atlas with your sword and bow. Were you trained for this? We can't take all the credit. Mog helped too. Really? That little fella helped you out, huh? Must be a brave little guy. To say the least. Okay, that did it. Sarah, don't tell me you're having visions. Because I'm not ready if you're having visions. No, just staring into space. A space with visions in it. Oh, okay then, let's get going. <laughs>